Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here, shaving in the bathroom. Uh, it's an evening shave, as you can see, I have the towel on the uh, shower screen door because I've got lights here and it's very dark outside. Uh, and if I don't cover that up with the towel, it shines on the lights, shine on the shower screen and it's very distracting for everyone. So that's the reason for that. Some of you will already know that. Those of you that are watching this thing, who's he got? murdered behind that towel. Yeah, it's because the lights are on um, and it shines in the door. Right, I want to dedicate this shave to all the traditional wet shavers in the world. This shave is dedicated to you. Right, after the last video, it was my birthday, I'd received lots of lovely gifts, I used some of the gifts in the last shave, um, and I just, just the outpour of love was superb. It was just really, really nice and humbling and I was so grateful and it was just lovely to read the messages and all that, the birthday wishes and stuff like that. And I had a superb day when I went out for my birthday, went for a meal and went to the theatre. Yeah, it was just great. It was just great. Um, so this shave is dedicated to all the traditional wet shavers in the world. There you go. Whether you shave with a cartridge razor and you use a brush and soap or whether you use a straight razor or a single edge or anything or a shoe brush, whatever you use to shave. <laughs> a shoe brush? I don't know, some people might just <laughs> scrub the shoe brush until the, the, the bristles disappear. So this is one that's for you, this shave. Right, let me show you what we're using. Um, the razor, I'm going vintage tonight. Uh, it's this, this is the Gillette Slim Twist. Um, comes in this Nice plastic case. This one's in very good condition. There is there, look, Gillette Slim Twist. I'll just put it to the side there. Yeah, this one um, is a very basic razor. It was kind of late 60s, early 70s probably. You twist the, the neck here and it opens up like that. Yeah, mine's is in very good condition. Um, it's well looked after. I, I got it like this actually. It was very nice when I got it. Sometimes you can get cracks in the handle, but this one is kind of pristine. Oh, there's the nail. Look, it's coming on, it's coming on. Uh, right, so that's the razor. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting that is a brand new Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge. Uh, here it's here. I've written on it because it's a blank wrapper. Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. And there's one dot there, but I just put that on when um, I was writing the Gillette 7 o'clock yellow on it. So, it, But it is brand new. Um, I've just taken it out of the, the pack. I don't know if these are branded or not. I'm looking at this side, it's not branded. Oh, it is. One side's branded. If you can see that there, it's kind of lasered onto it. So that will go in there. Pop the blade on there. Dust the neck. And there it is. Yeah, as with all Vintage Gillette, so there's a bit of overhang at the side there. So that's the razor blade. Let me put that out of the way. Uh, let me show you the brush. I'm, I'm just going with a, a kind of basic shave tonight. There's nothing fancy about it. I've used all these products before. Um, I know I've got new stuff, but I'm waiting on something coming in the mail. Uh, hopefully it'll be in for the next shave and then I'll, I'll ramp it up for that. Right, so the brush is soaking in the sticky nothing pudding super soft. Soaker, sticky toffee pudding, super soaker. He agrees. Uh, it's the Samoog Owners Club Bore Brush. Here is here. Yeah, Samoog. Uh, this is in butterscotch. Probably my favourite colour for a brush. Nothing fancy about it. It's a resin handle. The the bore knot on it is one of the better fibres of bore. Just a blonde knot. So I've had it soaking for about 10 minutes just while I took a shower and that. Um, that's the brush. Yeah, pretty basic, but just the colour. I love the colour. It's so vintage, butterscotch. Um, yeah. That's what I don't know. Uh, the soap. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cold Spices. Uh, this isn't the CK6 formula. It's just the regular... Uh, formula that you can buy from them. Um, Cold Spices, this is their take on uh, vintage. 
Shilton Old Spice. Yeah, and he's pretty much nailed it. Right, uh, right on the nose there. Beautiful scent, really, really um, authentic smelling. Um, and you can see the label there, Cold Spices. And some people, um, I don't know if this has actually got um, menthol in it. It doesn't say it on the label. But I don't know whether it's why it's called Cold Spices. Obviously it's a take on Old Spice, Cold Spice, yeah, but I thought there would be some uh, menthol, but it doesn't list it in the ingredients. There's the ingredients there, if you want to take a look at them and pause it. You can. Nope. Am I just not seeing it? Or is it written in like Latin or something? You know how these artisans, they play tricks with you. <laughs> Especially that Smythe da chap. Smythe ta -cha -cha pap. This is a vegan soap. Yeah, very good. Right, so that's the that's everything set up. I'll show you the uh, the the post shave when we do the post shave. Okay, yeah, I've used this quite a lot recently. Actually, just um, I've really enjoyed using it, so I thought I'll, I'll use it again tonight. Right, so there's, there's the brush. I'll give it one shake, one shake into a dry puck. Lots of water coming off there, but that's okay. So how are you? How's things? Yeah, thank you for all the uh, birthday messages and uh, comments on YouTube on the last video. I've still not spoken with um, Vinny. Well, maybe I have. I say that because I'm recording this one day and I might speak to him later on or tomorrow or whenever this video gets uploaded, it might be, I might speak to him before that. So I'm still loading this brush here. Yeah, people say about boar brushes, oh, they seem to eat lather for me. And they are a bit of a lather hog at times, they can be. But, if you load them enough, soap, soap is very, very cheap, all things considered. Compared to some razors and brushes and stuff like that, soap's one of the, the cheaper things you can buy. You know, for a tub of soap, what, $20? About 15 pounds? So don't skimp on the soap. Don't be frugal with your, <laughs> I was trying to rhyme, something that rhymed with frugal. Don't be frugal with your boogle. There we go. Right, so um, let's just take this. Use this as a little pre-shave. Take what's in the tub. Yeah, so if you load a, a, a bore brush with enough suds, soap, lather, whatever you want to call it, if you load it well enough, it should be okay. But don't be, don't be frightened, there's no rules in wet shaving. No matter how many YouTubers or people on forums or stuff like that uh, tell you, there's no rules in wet shaving. If, you run out, if you're using a bore brush and you run out of soap by the second or third pass, just go back to the puck and gather some more soap. Right, let's go. Yeah, I've been doing... Um, Test lathers. <laughs> Test lathers with this brush, just trying to kind of break it in and soften the bristles and, you know, just uh, stuff like that. It's getting really soft now. Yeah, look. You can see that. that. Right, so I'm just going to dip the end of the knot. Yeah, this shave is much more... Uh, relaxing than the last one. Not that the last one wasn't relaxing, but it was really, I was kind of in a rush and I was trying to get it finished and yeah, I was trying to film it and uh, you know, because I had places to go on my birthday and, but this one is a little bit more relaxing. Oh, the ladder's falling off the brush. Look at this. <laughs> can, you, can you hear that ladder hitting the water? And I'm just picking it up and scooping it back on the brush. There's no <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look how thick that is. 
That's too thick for me, Kevy. Well, make it thinner. You don't have to copy what I do or this is this is the way I like it, so everyone likes it different. I'm just gonna paint some more water in. <laughs> if you've got time to have a shave, why not use it? Just shut the bathroom door, do what you want to do, and just relax. Just take your time, have a Have a nice shave. Okay, just a touch of water at the end here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Other than the fact I'm covered in lather, but that's okay because we're just enjoying the shave. Yeah, so how's everyone? How is everyone doing? Have you recovered from the weekend? If you're on a weekend just now, go for it, good. Right, well, let's uh, put some heat into the Gillette Slim Twist. Into the blade. Go to. Right, let's go with this. Yeah, this is uh, quite a mild razor. So comfortable, so, so comfortable in use. There's a bristle from the brush. Uh, rinsing it and I've just every couple of times I just double check that this is still tight but these uh, vintage Gillettes are great Beautiful scent on that soap. Um, yeah, it's, it's the classic Shilton Old Spice. Uh, Doug and Fran absolutely nailed it. And it's not the CK6 formula. But it still outperforms many of the soaps uh, out there. CK6 formula is a little bit more expensive, I think. But this, just the regular stuff is, uh, I think it's just as good. Yeah, it's nice. Uh... <laughs> Did I whistle there? It's nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, nice uh, to be, uh, it's uh, nice to be uh, shaving without any hassle. <laughs> I, hope, I hope no one's dog's in the room watching. Not watching, but in the same room they'll be like, what was that whistle? Say, Sonny, better get that whistle sorted out. Right. These weepers have become part of my shave in the last few shaves. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the... <gasps> Second pass. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Back to this brush.
Yeah, I know um, a lot of people say the synthetic brushes these days are the best brushes out there. Probably are. They probably are probably right in terms of how they perform and how soft they are and how they release a lather, but I still love using a, a natural hair brush, like a bore brush or a badger brush, especially a bore brush. I really enjoy using bore brushes. Don't know why, just um they just feel nice. And I like I like um the break in process, you know. Um how you break them in and take your time and there you go, look, you can't argue with that. Yeah, they just feel very traditional. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Of course it does. They feel very traditional, of course it makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Right, second pass. Across the growth. This is a lovely blade. Oh, caught my nose there with the overhang. I don't think I nicked it, I just, uh, just felt it. Which is why you have to be careful. I don't think there's any, any um, kind of writing on this, just made in England on the bottom of this razor. So it doesn't, they don't have date codes as such. Um, but the the, uh, the razor head people out there, <laughs> people who are into razors, like they know all the stuff about the old Gillette stuff. Were these, um, the Gillette Slim Twists, were they only made uh, for the English market? Or for the, only made in England, I don't mean for English people. Were they only made in England? Or was there any um, US versions? Or was it called something else? Same razor but a different name. I think these were called, was it the Knack? As well, or is that a different razor? I'm pretty sure that was these, but. Beautiful. Yeah, it feels really nice. The uh, residual slickness on that soap is something else. I could actually probably stop there, but where's the fun in that? Let me run so I'll come back for a third pass. Okay. Yeah, really nice. Back for a third pass. The scent strength on this is about a, I would say once lathered about a six. Just really nice. Nice um, punchy scent. Um, a nod to the uh, vintage. Shilton Old Spice, and it's very good. There we go, three passes, look, still plenty of lather left in that. It does help when you break a bore brush in. People often say, what do you mean when they break it in? Well, just when you get a new bore brush, you'll, you'll know the bristles are very, very hard. Even um, when you soak it in some water, and just keep using it, drying on a towel, just keep using it and using it, and they will uh, gradually get softer and softer. And, um, yeah, they just they just become softer, and when it's fully broken in, it almost feels like a it will feel like it's synthetic. It's that soft, right? Third pass up against the growth. Yeah, so the the the, the birthday wishes from everyone, unbelievable. Just really, really nice. Which is why I'm dedicating the shave to all the, the wet shavers in the world.
No matter what your shape is, this one's for you guys, gals. Right, so um, if whatever it is I'm waiting on in the post, if it turns up, if it arrives uh, before the next shave, I'll use that and uh, I'll use one of uh, one of the soaps and splashes I got from uh, Vinny for my birthday. Um, and very good they were too. Well, I've only used the uh, Lancaster leather, the Katie's Bubbles. This is superb. I'm so enjoying this. Yeah, look at these little weepers. The cold water will sort them out. Very light touch. Super. Right, let me have a quick rinse and feel. Just right there. Just right there. Anything down here? Anything around here? Maybe a little bit there. Yeah, there's always this little bit over here as well now. I don't know why I keep missing it. It seems to get worse as my hair gets longer. For some strange reason, that's it. <laughs> yeah, for some strange reason. As my hair gets longer, the stubble gets stronger. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's have a little rinse. That's it, right. Three passes done and that feels superb. Right, let's see how much is left in this brush. Not much. There's some on the tub here that I'll take from that. Yeah, look, there's only that much, but well enough for a face wash to rub all these uh, good ingredients into your skin. And get this scent as well, it's lovely. Right, rub this in, rinse it off with hot and cold, clean out the gear, see you for the post shave. That could have been a little poem there, couldn't it? Rub this in, rinse it off with hot, cold, clean out the gear, see you for the post shave. What a lovely scent. Lovely. Feels great. Okay, post shave. I've forgotten I had this. Um, <laughs> there's lemon witch hazel. Good bit left in that. Shake up a little bit. Yeah, forgotten all about this. Lovely scent. 
great scent. It's just a shame it disappears. Yeah, I think I said in uh, one of the previous shaves, I think you can get Thayer's Witch Hazel now in uh, Boots. Uh, Boots the Chemist here in the UK. I think, well, I've seen it online. I don't know. I've still not checked whether they have it in there. In the stores and stuff like that, but I know that they sell it on their website. I've seen it on the website. Don't know if it's reasonable priced or what. I don't know. Um, aftershave, cold spices. It's got to be old spice, right? Nah. <laughs> Mersol Formula C. I didn't want to splash on uh, old spice this time of night, and uh, I thought I'll be going to bed soon. And yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, this has kind of got a, like a. Lavender, uh, not a lavender, um, kind of iris, uh, violet. Yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice and calming and nothing too offensive. Don't want to uh, splash on the old spice just before bed. You never know what might happen. <laughs> in your dreams, Kevy, in your dreams. You're 53 now, remember. Still got it, baby. Well, according to some. <laughs> and I'm going to finish it off with, uh, oh, it must be Old Spice Balm or something. Nope. Parasso Green. I got this from Fred. Fred sent me this in, Fred's in Norway. And I thought it was Parasso White. But um, I think the last time I used it, he said, that's actually Parasso Green. So there we go. Russell Green it is then. Yeah, nice. Nothing too out of the ordinary or just a nice relaxing shave with my buddies. Superb. You really can't beat it, can you? When you have a good shave, everything's well. All the, all the troubles of the world just melt away. This is like, well, this is it. Oh, I've just had a great shave. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, feels great. Right, let me show you what I've used. The soap for today was Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cold Spices. Uh, their take on vintage Shilton Old Spice. Here it is, all cleaned out. Yeah, great scent. Um, I think they still stock this, pretty sure of it. I think it's a, it's not just a seasonal one, I don't think. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'll look for the link. Everything will be um, down below the video. Uh, post links for everything I can find that, that's still available. Um, I'm not sure about the Mersol. I think you can only get that in Spain now. It's a Spanish aftershave, but there you go. Anyway, that's the soap. Wonderful, wonderful soap. Not the CK6, just the regular formula. Works just as well. Uh, the brush. Samog Owners Club Board Brush. Look at that all cleaned out. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Looks like Billy Idol. <laughs> uh, with the butterscotch handle. I have the one with the, um, kind of just the white, is it called the Taj? Like the same colour as the Taj Mahal? Yeah, that, I have that one as well, but I love the butterscotch colour. One of my favourite colours in a, in a shaving brush, definitely. Beautiful. Uh, the razor, star of the shave, I think, was the... Gillette Slim Twist, non-adjustable, just a one-piece razor, twist to open. Inside that was a brand new Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. Uh, where's the pack? There we go, Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. Excellent blade in that razor. Quite a mild razor, but it just, even after all these years, what, 40, 50 years, still works, still in good condition. Yeah, I'll, I'll rinse it all out, uh, give it a wipe down, leave it to dry give it another wipe down and then put it away back in its uh, case. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful razor. Love the uh, vintage Gillette stuff. Three passes, pickups, face wash, uh, post shave was Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel with aloe vera. Uh, the splash was Mersol Formula C, which have, if you have um, Wickham's Parma Violet, this is a dead ringer match for it. That's the splash you want for that. And finished it off with Parasso Green Aftershave Balm. And there we have it. Yeah, look, there's that one little, one little weeper there. It's probably gone now, look. 
just probably because I was just rubbing everything in. But there's the shave. Yeah, very good, very, very good. Right, that's all for me uh, for this shave. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully that package will turn up and uh, we'll, use some, uh, we'll use some quality high-end gear for that shave, I think, because it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit special. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed it will be. Uh, I'll let you know once I open the package. I'll be like, oh, what's that? Nah, it won't. It'll be special. But um, that might not be in the next shave because I don't know if it will arrive by then, but it's a coming, it's a coming. Don't worry about it, it's coming. Right, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, look after loved ones, stay safe, enjoy your shaves, and then we'll talk again real soon. See ya, take care.